This is the area that I want to grow my potatoes. So I have onions here um, and I need to weed a little bit better. And then I'm going to reserve the rest of the bed for potatoes. So this is gonna be solely my potato bed. Um, potatoes and onions. And uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that going here in just a minute. I'm gonna show you something else I'm gonna do here in this garden today. Just getting ready to plant. So my roses are doing okay. I am actually gonna come in and do some pruning this week. I'm not going to do it today because the temperatures are going to be cold, but what I am going to do is come in here and get the weeds out. I do not like weeds in my beds at all. Um, it's a pet peeve, and so I'm going to take my favorite garden tool, and I am going to go ahead and get the weeds out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started doing some gardening stuff today. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is lay out my rows just by digging. Um, and let me say, there is no rhyme or reason to my method. Um, this is just years of experience, and so I have a certain way that I do things. Um, it doesn't mean you have to do it this way. This is just how I do it. So in planting my potatoes, I just try and make a nice straight row using the corner of my hoe. I am going to lay the potatoes with this part facing up. And I'm just gonna go down the row and lay them. I'm gonna put them pretty close together. Okay, so now I have my potatoes laid out. I left space right here for the potatoes that I already have started and I'm gonna go ahead and just cover up what I've got here now. Okay, and just like that, my potatoes are planted. I've got two rows here, left some for my other ones, and my onions are doing okay. I'm gonna come in and plant something in between them. Um, but yay, these are my makeshift tags, these Dollar Tree tongue depressors or craft sticks, whatever you want to call them. All right, I'm going to go between my rows here and plant leeks. I have these shallots that I winter so sowed that were winter sown. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and so I'm going to plant them in between my onions. Here back I'm doing leeks, little seeds. Here are my leek seeds. I'm just going to sprinkle. I now need to think through how I want to do this. I forgot I had bought some purple potatoes, some seed potatoes, and then these red, red barren onions. So, and I decided I'm going to go ahead and plant the potato plants that I have. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and I'll just cover them tonight. I'm not going to, I want to get this done. I've got a hundred of these. And then these seed potatoes, I'm going to plant the whole thing. I'm not going to cut them up. I'm just going to plant them. And I've got five purple potatoes. Actually, they're called blue. Seed potato blue. And there's five of those and they all have sprouted as well. So yay, this is a good problem to have. I am certainly not complaining. I have four plants that are doing great. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna plant those there. Is that a good idea? No, I'm gonna come in the, in the middle and I'm gonna do that. I'm going to plant my purple potatoes right here. 
Let's look at them. Ooh. So we only have four of those, which is fine. Um, they look rotten. So these may not do anything, which is fine. We're just gonna try it. All right. This soil is beautiful, look at it. Gorgeous. A lot of people say North Carolina has clay and that's not good. I disagree. And that's why. Beautiful, rich soil. I also like to say when people people talk about the uh, North Carolina clay, I like to tell them, look around, look at what amazing things grow in the clay of North Carolina. It is rich soil. Um, I don't care what you say. So, okay, there's the purple potatoes, probably spaced way too close, but since I'm not sure how they're gonna do, I'm gonna space them that close. Ooh, these look fantastic. These are the white seed potatoes. These look really good. Okay, so they have hairy stems too. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just space these out a little bit more. And give them room and decisions, decisions. Yeah, all right. These are the purple potatoes. So I may be planting these too close together and that's okay. Um, I am going to maximize my space here and uh, I'm gonna get all the potatoes in this one little teeny tiny bed. Um, so I'm sure, I'm sure this is not the appropriate way to plant potatoes. I'm sure it's not, but I'm going to do it and we're just gonna, this is gonna be a trial and error experimental bed. Cover these up and then I'm gonna do the red onions here. That's gonna be a ton, but that's okay. Um, you don't really mess with the potatoes until they're done, so I'm gonna give them a little while. So let's do this. So just a quick recap of what I've done. I had my onions on this row and onions on this row. Um, I went ahead and planted my shallots that I winter sow, sowed and I planted some seeds, some leeks right here in that area. And then I put some potatoes here and my potatoes that Finley started um, back in January and then I put my purple onions, they're little small onions. So I put all 100 in between the two rows of the potatoes. I planted my, let's see, I planted my purple potatoes here, my um, white, actually yellow potatoes beyond that in this area. And so now I am going to cover with, I'm gonna go in and put uh, black cow cow manure throughout and then I'm going to cover it with some potting soil and then I'm going to water. So I got a new nozzle and I have just pulled everything out of the greenhouse. Hopefully this is the last time I'm going to have to do this. Um, I'm going to put it back in today and then leave it out the rest of the week. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and water using my new nozzle, and then I'm gonna water what I just planted. As you can see, I got all of my pie plates hung. It's not pretty, but hopefully it lets the deer know that this fence is there, and that's all I want. 
Um, I watered my grass, trying to get this to come in. I'm gonna water it every day. And went around the base of the uh, fence all the way around and sprayed grass killer. Um, I just, rather than waiting, I just decided to get that done. Uh, I'm gonna be planting this upcoming week, so I wanna have everything done that I need to get done. And I watered my roses. Um, I used my weed hoe and got the majority up, but there's still a couple that were there um, left behind. So anyway, I am now ready to, I'm gonna clean out my greenhouse and get everything put back in for the night. I've got quite a mess in here, so I'm gonna clean this up and then um, I am going to be done and get ready for the week. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. I wanna thank you so much for watching um, just a busy weekend in preparation for planting this garden. I can't believe we're finally almost to that point. Um, and coming along with me while I plant some of the garden. Um, got a little bit done this weekend, so I am ready and excited and will be spending this week finishing up, um, but I am so excited and I cannot wait to share the garden with you and all the things, all the learning experiences and life lessons that I tend to learn in the garden. Um, so I hope you have a great day and I want to thank you again. If you like this video, feel free to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like this. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Take care, everybody.